Kids love to pick up rocks when they're along the lake or walking in a park or the woods. Kitchen pantry scientist Liz Heineke is here today with some geology experiments using rocks. Liz, I'm smiling because this just brings me back to when my kids were younger and would just like fill their backpacks and stuff with little rocks from wherever we would go, you know? Yeah, we still do that. We were up at Lake Superior this summer and we brought back so many rocks. I have a bunch of them laid out on a cookie sheet here. They're absolutely beautiful. And it's something that's, they're all so different. Also, you know, John Lordson, our colleague, did a wonderful story on lake glass. It's not mm, sea glass, yeah. it's, what did he call it? I think lake glass, but just that's so cool too. So Liz, you can, yeah. you can really uh, apply some scientific methods with these rocks that the kids are gathering up, right? You really can. So there are three main kinds of rocks. There are igneous rocks that formed from lava or molten rocks. There are metamorphic rocks that formed when a bunch of sedimentary rocks from the surface and other places were under heat and pressure. And then there are sedimentary rocks like limestone, which there's a lot of around the Twin Cities. And kids can sort of test their rocks. Uh, like some rocks are harder than others, so they can take a paper clip or a penny and try to scratch rocks to see how hard they are. But a really cool thing they can do to test for whether something contains limestone is to just drip some lemon juice or vinegar on it. Because limestone is most, we have it around the Twin Cities. It's made up from times back when um, parts of the earth were covered with ocean. So Minneapolis at one time was covered with an ocean. All these microscopic animals died. They, they sunk down into the mud and were fossilized to form limestone. And limestone is mostly made of calcium carbonate, which bubbles and makes carbon dioxide gas bubbles when you put, and I don't think you can see this, but when you put lemon juice or vinegar on it, it reacts with the, oh, with cool. the acid and it makes bubbles. So this is a fun way kids can test to see whether rocks collect, uh, or rocks contain limestone. And they can also, of course, it's great, a magnifying glass, they can look um, to see different stripes and minerals in rocks. The rocks from uh, Lake Superior, for example, have a lot of red in them, so you cool. can see you know, lots of iron in the rocks. Liz, it looks like you have something we can eat over there, yes. too, right? food. <laughs> yeah, so this is another geology experiment. When soil forms, it actually, soil is just crunched up rocks. So you start with something called bedrock. So this is an illustration of how kids can understand how soil is made. So get some graham crackers, put some big chunks of graham cracker in the bottom of a cup. Mm -hmm. Then you can um, use some, like, pudding to represent clay layer and start breaking up the graham crackers. So as you go higher, break the graham crackers into smaller and smaller pieces. Eventually, crumble some Oreos on top to represent soil because as the rocks get weathered and get smaller and smaller, uh, bacteria, animals, plants add organic matter to the, to the tiny pieces of rock and you create soil, which obviously then can support life such as plants. So it's a fun, oh, and of course, you have to add some gummy worms to the top of your soil, oh, yeah, right? For sure. You just have to make sure they don't eat the real earth. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but that's very cool and fun. They might get some minerals, you never know. But yeah, it's, it's a fun way for kids to, to take something practical and make it edible. Just fun, right? Perfect. Really good. Liz, good uh, project for people to work on on Thank this so nice much. weather this weekend. We appreciate it. Yeah. Get out and collect some rocks. Go get those <laughs> rocks. You can get more experiments from Liz at kitchenpantryscientist.com. Go to wcco.com links and we'll get you there.